Hello cookbook friends, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas and today I'm very hungry for pasta. So I grabbed this old world Italian cookbook from my library, but that doesn't necessarily mean Italian cooking is all about pasta, but let's find out. This is Mimi Thorison. She's incredibly well known. I don't have to tell you who she is. Recipes and secrets from our travels in Italy. I'm dying to check this out. Came out in October 2020. Starting off gorgeous already. Oh, beautiful. Who doesn't want to travel to Italy? I mean, wouldn't that be nice? Uh, photographs by Adur Thorison. Starting off with some gorgeous pictures. Okay, contents. Introduction from Bordeaux to Torino, setting the stage, regional Italian cooking, eating Italian, unlocking the secrets to Italian cooking. I'm going to have to get off camera and read that carefully. Drinks and starters, aperitivi and antipasti, the primi pasti chapter, the secondi meat and seafood, the contorni vegetables, and desserts dolci. Very straightforward. Let's see what's going on. This has barely been checked out from my library. It's in pristine condition. I'm going to try and keep it that way. There they are in Italy. Here is a beautiful dish of pasta with red wine. Ah, yes, I'm starving. Okay, I really shouldn't eat lunch before doing cookbook videos. Pretty photography, going to learn a lot, but I'm going to skip ahead because we need to see some recipes. Okay, starting off, here's the chapter on aperitifs and appetizers. For example, something called Bisserin. It's espresso with chocolate and whipped cream. If you're a coffee person, yum. Here's a cafe shakerato. Notes on Italian coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, so I will let you guys tell me what's going on with that. Here's a Nencia Corsini's Bloody Mary, Mary a la Reggio, whatever that means. Wow. Lot, I see lots of peppers in the picture. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Here's a Prampolini red wine spirits. Mmm, I would add some liquor to my red wine. They're in Piemonte, so lots of travel photos, lots of info on the region. Here she is with her children outside of a villa. Here's tuna salad with green beans and mint. That would be perfect for summer when it's too hot to cook. Mmm. Insalata russa alla mimi a potato and egg salad, sage fritters. Who doesn't love fritters? Oh, this is incredible. Um, woo, zucchini blossom fritters stuffed with mozzarella and anchovies. In case they weren't delicious enough, let's stuff them with delicious things. Pears in syrup. Here's an eggplant parmigiana. Yum. Looks a lot different than the one I get at an unnamed restaurant that I go to that's a big chain Italian. Here's caponata di melanzana. So eggplant, caponata, lots and lots of vegetarian options in here for me. Here's a charred and egg Easter pie. That looks incredible. I actually almost teared up. Travel pictures, travel pictures. I kind of hate you. No, I'm happy for you. You could travel. Here's a nonna, an Italian grandmother, and the pasta that she's making. Wow. Or selling. Basic egg pasta recipe. Pumpkin ravioli. Annolini with ricotta and hazelnuts. I'm not sure what that is. Must be a type of pasta. Here's Emilia Romana. A person, I guess. They're eating at her house. Here is Campania, the region we're going to next. Ziti Allardiati. Ziti with lardo, spring onions, and tomatoes. What is lardo? Is it related to lard? I don't know. <laughs> Ragu Genovese. Here's a spaghetti a la Vangoli. Uh, cacio e pepe, spaghetti alla carbonara. So, okay, I was hoping this was a pasta book. I was not wrong. Here's spaghetti with zucchini blossoms. I don't have access to a lot of zucchini blossoms around here. I mean, I could try. Broccoli pasta. Sneak it in there and try and get your kids to eat it. Gnocchi. Lots of work to make it. The photography is just... This is a travel log, not just a cookbook, and it's kind of painful. Now they're going to Venice. Let's see what we're going to be eating in Venice. Risotto with pumpkin, treviso, and gorgonzola. Yum. How about bone marrow risotto? No, thank you. That would be a hot no. Um, risotto milanese. See? What's in that? Hmm. Pan fried. Oh, it's pan fried. Okay. Polpette de Sophia Loren. Meatballs in cream sauce. Here's Christmas roast capon. Capon? 
I don't know what kind of bird that is, with chestnuts, marinade, and bra sausage. I'll leave my bra out of this. Here's a branzino, here's a fish. Now we have roast pork with balsamic vinegar and red wine. Hmm, contorni. And we have punterelle alla romana. We have my gardeners starting up their loud mowing while I'm doing a video. Yay, gardeners! Dolce, hey, I'm not having to mow right now. I'm not complaining. Here's a cacci al rum, persimmons with vanilla and rum. Torta, lots of torts. Zabayon, which I've never tried to make, but I love eating it. Vanilla ricotta cream. Torta, oh, a hazelnut cake. I can't pronounce a lot of that. Panna cotta. And there's probably a tiramisu, I didn't see one. Here's a pistachio and lemon pound cake. <sighs> this is awesome. It's going to be very difficult to take it back to the library and drop it off. Oh my god, I love it. It's Old World Italian by Mimi Thorison. There's a reason she's the queen of cookbooks. Oh my gosh. And excuse the lawnmower sound in the background. I don't have time to edit it out. You can see more cookbook look-throughs, often with barking dogs and lawnmowers in the back. Cookbook Divas, we have a blog, website, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest a podcast and a new show. <laughs> Please subscribe. Thank you.